Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a second SSD or hard drive to the Lenovo Legion Wi-Fi 30 and Wi-Fi 40 and also how to upgrade the existing SSD. If you bought one of these notebooks with a single NVMe drive you probably noticed a small bag in the box containing a SATA cable and four screws. This kit allows you to install an additional SATA drive in the empty drive bay which can be a large capacity rotational drive or a SATA SSD. In my case I'm going to be upgrading the existing SSD to a Samsung 970 EVO and also installing a 500GB Western Digital Blue SSD in the SATA bay. If you're replacing the original drive before starting make sure that you have a bootable Windows USB drive so that you can reinstall Windows when you're done. You can create one using the tool on the Microsoft website. With that done, first shut the computer down, close the lid and turn it upside down. There are five long screws in the fan area marked by the red circles and six short screws marked by the blue circles under the keyboard. Remove them using a size 0 or double zero crosshead screwdriver. Once all of the screws have been removed, the lower case is still held on by clips. Turn the laptop onto its edge and bend out the lower case a little to make a gap. To undo the clips, insert a plastic card into this gap and work it around the edge of the machine, twisting it away from you. You'll hear some clicks as the clips are undone. Take care in the area around the ports so as not to damage anything. Once the clips on the side and back have been undone, you can rotate the bottom case towards the back and lift it off. The NVMe drive and the empty SATA bay can be seen just to the right of the battery. First, I'm going to remove the existing PM981 NVMe SSD and replace it with a faster 970 EVO. Using a small crosshead screwdriver, turn the single screw securing the SSD counterclockwise. Then rotate the SSD up 45 degrees and slide it out of the socket. Then take the new SSD and slide it into the slot at a 45 degree angle, making sure that it's pushed all the way in. Then rotate it down so that it's flat to the motherboard and replace the screw. That's the new NVMe drive installed, now let's move on to installing a second SSD in the empty drive bay. This is a standard 2.5 inch drive bay into which you can install any 2.5 inch SATA hard drive or SSD. First we need to remove the drive cradle from the computer. It's held in place by four Phillips head screws, one at each corner. With the screws removed, you can hold the cradle by the sides and lift it up and out of the computer. Then, take your SSD or hard drive and place it in the cradle with a connector at the open end. Secure the drive in the cradle using the four small silver screws that came in the bag along with the cable. One screw goes in each corner. With the drive secured in the cradle, you can attach the ribbon cable. Line up the notch on the cable with the notch on the drive connector and push it firmly into place. Now you can go ahead and replace the drive cradle in the laptop and replace the four screws you removed earlier. Finally, we need to attach the ribbon cable to the motherboard. You'll see an empty connector on the motherboard next to the fan connector. Lift up the small plastic flap to open the connector, push the end of the ribbon cable all the way in, and then close the flap to hold it in place. If the cable is inserted properly, 
you should find that the black line on the cable lines up exactly with the edge of the connector. And that's it, all that's left to do now is the reassembly. After replacing the rear cover, reattach the clips by pushing down firmly around the edge of the laptop, then replace the screws, making sure to replace the longer screws at the back and the shorter screws at the front. Once the screws have all been replaced, you can turn the laptop over, open the screen and turn it on. Immediately after turning the laptop on, repeatedly pressing the F2 key should bring up the BIOS screen. Under the Information tab, you should see the new drives listed next to Hard Disk 1 and Hard Disk 2. Once you've confirmed that the new drives are showing up, you can press Escape or F10 to exit the BIOS. If you've just added a second drive, you can boot straight into Windows. Or if you've just upgraded the SSD, you'll need to boot from your USB drive first to install Windows to your new drive. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.